Hello everybody, how are you doing? It's Jennifer the Keto RN and I am so excited. The holidays are upon us, it's almost Thanksgiving and I have a long list of things to do like I'm sure everybody else does, um, but it's a good day here. I have all my grocery shopping done. My son just walked in the door from college and um, it's just gonna be great. So I'm starting to get some things going. Um, and just getting like the basic start of sort of um, started. And so the first thing I'm gonna do, well, I have sweet potatoes in the oven. They're already cooking and, and softening for my next dish that I'm gonna do um, later this evening um, for, you know, just kind of some pre-prepared cooking. And then um, this one is the holiday bread for the stuffing that I um, put out the other day. I don't know, I think it was sometime last week and it's so good and I love this bread. Um, we made it last year. I think we made about three loaves. Um, we, we tried it, it, we loved it, and we, we just kept making it because it's good bread just to have um, on its own. It's, it's really delicious. And you only use about two slices uh, for the stuffing. I think, I don't, that doesn't sound right to me, but that's what I remember. Anyway, we'll see. So the first thing, anyway, as you're popping on, say hello. Let me know where you're coming from. Let me know if you are live. You will see the live button. Sorry, right there. I can't see on my camera very well. Um, because I love to know who's here and I love it when you guys, um, let me know what you're doing because otherwise I'm just talking to myself. So anyway, starting with, um, this holiday bread, the first thing you're making is the holiday, the holiday bread seasoning. So, um, the seasoning has just a few ingredients. This is two tablespoons of cloves. That's what I started with. Um, and then next is some orange peel, um, and not, not orange zest, but actual orange peel peel. And so one and a half tablespoons of that, two tablespoons of cloves, cloves, one and a half tablespoons of your um, orange peel, whoops, one, and where's my half? One and a half teaspoons. There we go, and that smells good. Some fennel seeds, oh look, all you guys decided to start commenting, thank you. Hello Jen from Oxford, Connecticut, Ohio, Idaho. Where are you from in Idaho? I'm in Spokane. Hello Linda, thank you guys so much. What are you guys doing today? Have you started preparing? Like are you getting, um, you know, some of your um, pre-cooking done? Tablespoon of fennel seeds. You know, your pre-cooking done, you know, the things that you do. Uh, today, I'm hoping to make before the day is done, which it's two, what time is it? Oh, it's almost three. Wow, I had no idea it was so late. Idaho Falls, oh pretty, my in-laws lived there a long time ago when my father-in-law was stationed there, I think, somewhere. Um, so, uh, let's see, a tablespoon of fennel seeds, two teaspoons of anise seeds. Um, anyway, have you guys done some pre-shopping, or not shopping, but um, preparing? I'm going to do um, this holiday bread. I'll probably, hopefully cook the sausage that goes in the stuffing as well. If I can, I don't know, we'll see. And I'm also going to do um, some, what else I going to do? Oh, I'm going to make the cranberry sauce tonight, and oh, I've got the sweet potatoes in the oven. I'm probably going to try to make make those as much as I can, but I kind of want to do a live on it too because it is a, a recipe that I've used for years and years, like probably 20 years, um, but I've ketified it and so it's just kind of, well, sweet, sweet potatoes aren't keto, sorry, hate to tell you that, but I make the sweet potato recipe with all of the keto ingredients that I can, so at least they're a little better, but I'm still gonna eat some because they're delicious. All right, last ingredient for this is one and a half teaspoons of cardamom. Um, so just to recap, this is orange peel, it's ground cloves, it's fennel seeds, it's um, ground or, uh, anise seeds, and um, one and a half teaspoons of cardamom. And this is just, uh, man, cardamom is my favorite. This is just um, the holiday bread spice, and we'll use a total of two tablespoons of this spice in the holiday bread itself. I'm having a hard time with this. I'm going to do just a little bit more. There we go. I posted this recipe already. You can find it. Um, if you can't find it, just message me. I'll get it to you. Although it's, it might be a little late for this Thanksgiving. But if you do, if you do stuffing on Thanksgiving or on um, Christmas, you could have it or whatever winter holiday you celebrate. All right. So this is the 
um, just the seasoning for the bread. So it is going to be so good. It just smells, you know, you know, just like wintry and just so, so good. We have Massachusetts, New York. Oh my gosh, you guys are all the way across the country. Did you guys, didn't New York get slammed with some snow? I know my daughter's uh, fiance's post is in um, New York and they just got like feet and feet and feet of snow. Um, all right, let's see. I need a bigger bowl. Oh, a medium bowl. All right, so now we're moving on to making the actual bread. So it's an almond flour based bread. Sorry, I forgot my measuring cups. All right, so um, anyway, yeah, let me know if you want this recipe. I'm happy to get it to you because it is it is a good one. And I, I don't know, I love stuffing and stuffing was something that I probably missed the most, but I wanted to um, eat it, and so this is what we have. So you make your own bread, super easy, and then um, that's what I'm doing now, and then we'll add, you know, all of the things to it that will make it stuffing on Thursday, so. All right, so two cups of almond flour, and we're mixing, oh, sorry, <laughs> mixing the dry ingredients first. So we've got two cups of almond flour and a half a cup of coconut flour. And like I said, this bread is oh, so, so good. You will want it just for toast in the morning. Um, it's, it's really delicious. All right, so that, and then just half a cup of, of some coconut flour. And then it's got all these other really inter oops, sorry, interesting ingredients that I don't use and that I wouldn't use for bread. There's over six feet, like that is crazy. That's what they were saying from my daughter's like 60 in overnight, right? Like it was like all dumped at once, which I can't even imagine. That we get snow here, but we don't get, oh, I shouldn't say that. We get snow here, but I've never lived here where we've had a huge, just a huge dump of snow that lasted, or six feet at one time. We've had six feet in a season, but never overnight. That would cripple the city, I can't even imagine. Okay. So coconut flour and almond flour, and then five tablespoons of sesame seeds. So um, this bread is really, um, it's like a heavy, whoop, a heady, heavy, nutty um, sort of bread. It's just really, really delicious. So five tablespoons, ready? One, two, these are just um, sesame seeds that I got at the grocery store, two, so putting those in now you know why I buy this in the big container right get the lid that's all on the ground deal with that later <laughs> all right and then some psyllium husk <clears throat> this was hard to find I can't remember where we actually ended up getting it like a health food store I think um, so some psyllium husk and four tablespoons of that so one, two, three, four. All right. What else is going on in your world? It's been awful, especially because you're, oh, right. That's the thing about nursing. So I'm, I'm a nurse too, and the weather's, weather can be terrible. And when the weather is terrible, we stay at the hospital <laughs> or, or you, I mean, you can't get in, right? I mean, it's terrible. You had, you had six feet in Diablo. I love Lake Diablo. It's one of the most beautiful lakes I've ever seen in my whole entire life. We traveled up the uh, North Cascade mountain range, oh gosh, a few years ago on our way to Bellingham where our daughter was living at the time. So crazy. What, uh, what kind of coconut flour do you use? So this is just Bob's Red Mill coconut flour. I just get it at the grocery store in the baking aisle. They have a whole Bob's Red Mill section. That's that one. And the, the, the almond flour is just Kirkland. What does it say? Oh, so these are not interchangeable. I can't see your whole comment, but this, these are not interchangeable. Um, you can't substitute at, at the same amount um, almond flour for coconut flour. The coconut flour I think is more absorbent. And so it does 
some interesting things to your cooking. So it'll kind of ruin if you if you want to use just coconut flour or just almond flour. You have to do the the recipe um, or the mixtures right. And I can't think of what they are right off the top of my head. I might be able to find out so I can get back to you. Um, we can talk about it. All right, let's see. Five tablespoons of flax seeds. These are also Bob's Red Mill. They are, Bob's Red Mill is a company in, um, in Oregon. I think they're like in Milwaukee, Oregon, which is kind of near the Portland, like Southeast Portland area too. Sorry, I have to keep counting. Three, four. So when I, when my husband made this last year and we had um, never had this bread and he, he made it and I was just like blown away. I made him keep making it because <laughs> it was so good. I hadn't had bread in such a long time. And um, it was really good. The one thing I will say about this bread recipe, I mean, besides being delicious, because it is delicious, is that um, this recipe, it just goes into a, a normal sized loaf pan um, and it makes 22 slices. Well, I will tell you that I, my slices are probably at least two. <laughs> so you have to double the carbs in that one <laughs> because I, um, it, it's, it's so delicious and I just don't cut it that thin. <laughs> All right, so that's all the dry ingredients except um, some salt, which I'm just gonna use my regular, um, for baking I often use just my Morton salt. If I'm salting my food, I try to use um, the pink Himalayan salt because it's a little bit um, better for you, but you'll, you'll get the benefits better if you eat, eat that salt on your food than you would if you um, bake with it. Let me just see here, mix all the dry ingredients, including the holiday bread seasoning in a medium bowl. Okay, two tablespoons of the seasoning that we just made. So, one and two, and there's almost enough for a second um, recipe that I know we will make. And what else can I add? Oh, some baking powder, that's the other thing. I'm almost out of baking powder, so I really hope that I have enough <laughs> for this whole recipe. I may not. Um, anyway, so what are you guys, is anybody trying a new keto recipe or a new recipe to them for Thanksgiving? Do you only stick with traditional stuff or do you throw in some new stuff every once in a while? Um, we throw in some new stuff every once in a while. Like this recipe was new last year. Um, this is gone. Um, but there's things that I have made year after year after year, like the sweet potatoes. Um, and you just try to, I've just tried to ketify them and nobody even knows, which is really, really great. They still eat them and nobody knows and, and I get to eat them too and enjoy them and um, it's, it makes it all worthwhile. All right, so this is all the dry ingredients and I'm gonna set this aside for a minute and mix up some other stuff here. I really don't have, I don't have enough space. <laughs> this is like a little teeny tiny section of, of counter and I just, it's just not enough. So I'm gonna clear some stuff off here. And I have to remember to add to my grocery list some cloves, I'm out of ground cloves, I'm out of baking powder. Like those are not things you run out of very often. All right, get those out of my way. All right, so the next things I am making or mixing are that it calls for uh, three ounces of cream cheese. So that's what this is, just a three ounce little hunk. A cup of sour cream, which this is, I don't think this has even been opened yet. Um, this is just regular Daisy full fat um, cream, sour cream, but get whatever's on sale or the one that you like the best. Um, it doesn't really matter. So anyway, new recipes, stick with traditional. Yep. So I posted, yes, I think it was yesterday, I posted a cauliflower mash recipe that looks so, so good. It's not my recipe, um, but it looks amazing. And um, I was thinking about making it, but all of my family um, will eat the cauliflower mash, but it was super, super dairy heavy, and um, my daughters try to avoid dairy. So I'm just gonna do a garlic, like a roasted garlic and roasted cauliflower mash that's gonna be like dairy free. So someday though, 
when they're gone and we're just eating um, something special for dinner or not even special, like maybe with a steak dinner or something, we'll, we'll make, I'll make that garlic, I mean, the, um, the cheesy cauliflower mash because it looks so, so good. I'm doing um, a different cranberry recipe, which I'm super excited about. This is six eggs, by the way. Super excited about a different cranberry recipe, and I am gonna do the um, recipe that I posted, the all, all Day I Dream About Food. She is a really great keto baker. I don't, I don't like baking that much, but she had, she posted this um, recipe for these cranberry brie bites that looked so good, and so I was gonna use some of my cranberry sauce that I'm making for those, and um, brie cheese, which of course I love. Um, and she, it, they just look delicious. So some cranberry bee, brie bites, that's hard to say, um, as a little appetizer. Um, yeah, and that's, that's about it. So we kind of do a, a little of both. We have some old standbys, but we like to bring some new ones in every once in a while. So, all right, so this was cream cheese. Uh, uh, yeah, eight ounces of cream cheese. Or sorry, three ounces of cream cheese, eight ounces of sour cream, and six eggs. And I'm just gonna stir these up. I probably should get my beaters out. What do you think? This is a little messy. And I didn't soften that cream cheese very well, so hang on, let me get my beaters. All right. Okay. I need a bigger kitchen. <laughs> or I need an island in my kitchen so that I can do all this. Stick with traditional. I love all the traditional people. That's good. I should show you my what my recipe, like the, the paper on my recipe, what it looks like. Sorry, I'm just plugging this in here. Um, for my sweet potatoes, it's like, I'll take a picture of it. It's pretty funny. It's got, you know, it's one of those recipes that has like all the stains, <laughs> the coffee rings and all the spilled water on it and all the things, it's kind of funny. All right, let's just mix this up really quick so that this goes a little better. There we go, that's much better. So lots of eggs in this recipe, but so worth it. And I, I'm gonna put it in the 400 degree oven and I'm gonna bake it for an hour. We're gonna bake it in the lower rack of the oven, lower part of the oven for an hour at 400. All right, that's better. Maybe just one little quick. Okay. That's way better than stirring it. Okay, so now we can add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients, but I still need to make a little bit of room here. That, and get rid of that, get rid of this. Okay. Hope you guys, thanks you guys for hanging with me. This is, um, somebody had asked if I was going to make this live and I was like, eh, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be that exciting, which... It's probably not, but it's gonna turn out so good and you guys are gonna be so happy if you make this because it's just delicious. All right, so now, even if you just make it for the bread, <laughs> forget about the stuffing, just make the bread, it's so tasty. All right, so now we're just mixing the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients and then <clears throat> it, it's more like a quick bread, right? I'm not gonna, like, there's no yeast in it. I don't have to um, let it rise and roll it out and all of those things. Um, it is just more like, it's a, it's like a dense, um, hearty, seedy, sort of flavorful, um, almost like a, almost like a rye. It doesn't taste like rye, don't get me wrong. It doesn't taste like a rye bread at all, but it's, but it's that heavy flavor and sort of that, oh, just, it is not white bread. <laughs> Let's just say that. It has got so much flavor and so, so, so good. And it makes a really good stuffing too, which is which is super, super fun. All right, so then I'm just going to um, mix this all up and I'm gonna put it into a, 
a regular bread pan, regular baking bread pan, and I'm gonna line it with parchment paper. Um, uh, uh, sorry, my nose itches. Uh, line it with parchment paper um, so that it's easier to come out. And again, lower part of your oven at 400 for about an hour. So it takes a long time to cook, but that's okay. What are you saying here? Haven't found a keto bread recipe that we like, so I'll have to try that on the weekend. So yeah, this, like I said, it's not your, this is not your typical um, white bread or biscuit or whatever, but this is really flavorful and good with like, um, like eggs and sausage. I mean, it's, it's, it's hearty. It's hearty and, and so delicious. So anyway, hopefully with all the um, ingredients in it that aren't dairy free, my daughters will still eat it. <laughs> but they may or they may not, I don't know. Neither one of them will, will um, end up in the, in the hospital if they have dairy. It's, it's not like that. Okay, so this is what the dough looks like, and I'm going to let you guys go here, and I'll put it in the pan, and I will take pictures and um, show you what it ends up looking like as it's, as it's done, and then, um, of course, I'll show you pictures of my stuffing on Thanksgiving when we do that. So that's the dough. It smells amazing. If you want the recipe, just let me know. Um, you can type recipe in the, in the comments. That would be um, probably the easiest way for me to get you if you don't already um, have it, if you haven't found it in my post. Um, but it's in there. It is in there. It's a post. It's just a uh, like an orange and yellow background. And I think I posted it in there. Yeah, it just says, who wants a keto recipe for stuffing? I have one if you want it. <laughs> so I got a lot of responses. There's a lot of people that wanted it, and I put it in the post. So anyway. All right. I'm going to take care of this, and I'm going to let my... Um, sweet potatoes finish up and then I'll put this in the oven and I will put some pictures up for you guys. Um, yeah, so have an awesome rest of your day. I'll probably be back. I've got more things that I'm making and um, I just kind of want to share them with you because it's kind of fun. So hopefully you guys are up for that and that you will join me. Um, and please don't ever, ever forget to, um, to share this page and like this page and let all your friends know that this is the cool place to be. Um, I appreciate it so much and it is really, really helpful for me to get the message out um, when you guys are commenting, liking, sharing, and you can share it with your friends, you can share it on your own page, I don't care, it doesn't matter, all my stuff is yours, so you guys use it. Uh, have a great rest of your evening and hopefully I'll see you back tonight. Um, for sure I will see you tomorrow and that's it, so have a good one you guys, thanks for hanging with me, I will talk to you soon, bye everybody.